One more time, about uh, 10 lines, 12 lines down on Testament Bays, and we'll just go, just a little review. Itmar near Bifniv Shav Bechutz, Nida Mishum Lachi, right? So if it appears to the inside and it's equal to the outside, which is a typical Lachi flush up against the you know, the, uh, the wall, where when you're walking down Wilshire, you, you don't see anything. You just see the end of a wall, and, you know, you don't see any lechi, but it appears to the inside people that, since, according to most estimations, that's the main message is to the inside, neither mishum lechi. On the other hand, near b'chutz v'shav mifnim, if it only appears to the outside, but it's smooth on the inside, where the protrusion is coming out to the people on Wilshire, but the people inside the Mavi the, j- just see a flat wall, don't see any protrusions from their end. So, okay, so one says yes, one says no. It's a sign that I'll prove to your Rebbe is the one who says that it, it, it will work. Okay, how, how do I know? The Tanur of Chia, because Rabbi Chia learned in a Brisa, Kaisa Shetzito Echad Konas Mechavero. Okay, when a wall is indented, okay, leaving uh, either, it could be indented, meaning that the wall moves into the Mavi, which means it serves as a Lachi to the people of the Mavi, as uh, it sort of forms an L, and L be- the, the, the wall becomes like an L, and if it becomes like an L, so the people in the Mavi can see that, uh, see that uh, extension. Okay, or, or whether um, it, uh, uh, yeah, either way, no, or so, uh, well, the first one is, it, it appears to the outside, that means, let's say it goes in. In other words, instead of making an L, it sort of, uh, uh, becomes, you know, um, you sort of take a little bit out of the wall, and by taking some out of the wall, then the wall ends a little bit into the Mavi, and that extension now becomes the extension that could be seen by Wilshire Boulevard. Uh, they see the extension because of the fact that it's sort of cut cut into the wall, so it's like a post that's um, that's sticking out. That appears to the Wilshire people, and that does not appear to the uh, to the people in the Mavi. So either way, Bain, one more time, uh, one wall... Uh, Gets moved out of the um, uh, out of itself, as opposed to the other one that's smooth. And in any one of these two scenarios, when if it appears to the outside and equal on the inside, either way, um, it's good. So this was taught by Reb Chia. If Reb Chia taught that they're both good, whether it appears on the inside or the outside whether the Wilshire people see it or whether the Mavi people see it, they're both, either way, it's good, that L'Choy approves that it's Reb Chia who says it's okay, really? So Gemara says, is that really true? Reb Chia, Milo Shmile, Ha, right, what, and, and Reb Yochan never heard this, this Brysa, El Shmile. He's saying that it makes no difference. As long as one of those two can see it, it's Yes, good that's exactly what, what, what Reb Chia is stating in the Brysa. And that's exactly the issue. And we know that there's a machlokas tanoim about it, or Reb Chia and um, Reb Shimon Berebi, these are two of the right borderline people right at the end of the tanoim going into the Amroim. They argue whether it's good or not. We're just proving now that it's Reb Chia who says it's good, while therefore leaving us Reb Shimon Berebi saying it's not good. Now we're saying, are you, do you really have a proof that it was Reb Chia? What? And Reb Yochan Milo Shmiel, hi, did Reb Yochan not know this Bryce and hear it? So, and yet he paskins differently in the Bryce. I'd explain that. Ella, Shmiel, he heard it. He heard the Bryce, but he doesn't agree with the Bryce. Well, then maybe Reb Chia Nami, why can't I say the same thing for Reb Chia? Nami, loy Savale, ha. Maybe the fact that he taught the Brysa doesn't necessarily mean that he agrees with the Brysa. Maybe he taught the Brysa just to put it on the record, but he doesn't necessarily agree with it. So I still don't see how you've proven how, that it's Rabbi is the one who says that it's good. Maybe it's really Rabbi Shimon Berebi. And Rabbi just taught a Brysa who says that he agrees with it, that he, agree, that he agrees with it. Mara says, come on, hi, my, you can't compare Rabbi Yochanan disagreeing with the Brysa versus Reb Chia disagreeing with his very own Brysa. Those are not the two, two of the same things. I, if Reb Yochan disagrees with the Brysa, it makes a lot of sense. That's why he never, he never learned the Brysa. And that's why he never learned the Alocha, because he disagrees with it. And Reb Yochan holds that Nira Mibachutz 
Rishabah Bifnim is not good because he did not agree with his Raisa. So, El Rabchia, but, if, but uh, so Yochan have no problem with because he didn't go on record as, as ever having saying this halacha. El Rabchia, he eased the Savale, but if indeed Rabchia did not hold to this Raisa, Lamale Lemissa, why would he Why would he teach it? Why would he learn it? Why would he go on record as purporting a Raisa that he ultimately does not feel is the right halacha? So at the end of the day, we do have a proof, okay, not to the halacha, we have a proof as to who said which halacha. The halacha is still up for grabs, because Reb Chia holds one way, Reb Shem Rebbe holds another way. Reb Chia happens to hold it's good, Reb Yochan seems to hold it's not good, and uh, Reb Yochan and Reb Shem Rebbe seem to say the same thing. Okay, so we're at the dot, let's catch up in the Rashi's here. Um, Itmar. Okay, right, right, uh, let's say about four, uh, four lines before the end of the narrow lines, the narrowest lines. It my gasinon. Nirif the Mishav Chod, Shemid Halechi, Rochava, Litzar Archai, Shalmavoi. That you establish the Lechi, the width against the length, which only near a. There's no extension at all, like you see in the Aleph there on the side, if you have, I don't know, my Gemara, and I'm not sure if you, I don't know, uh, you might not have those, but you have them in the art scroll. But anyway, um, he says, There's no extension at all to the outside. Okay, it, it, all it looks like is like you've added to the width of the Kaisal, right? So people walking down Wilshire, they, you can't tell from, I mean, I guess when you get real close, you can tell, but, but typically when you're walking down, the Lechi, since it's flush up against the end of the wall, it doesn't protrude out. There, when you're walking down, it looks like a, there's, a, there's a wall there. And then, oh, you'll have to get Mamash to the Movi to actually realize that there is an um, extension to that. The um yeah but the uh, the side of the uh, the inside of that levy of that lechi will be appearing uh, will appear to and will be apparent to those in the inside. Okay, and that's the aleph. If uh, at least in my I have these five these four um Diagrams, actually five diagrams, two bases and aleph base gimel dalid, but I don't think you guys have that. That's I guess. Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, you have two bases? I have two bases, yeah. Okay. Okay, so but an olive, this is clearly a case where it's apparent to the people of the. Are these? These you have? Yeah, they have. Okay, but you don't? You got the old version. Yeah, I've got the old version too. Interesting. Okay, look at that. Okay. Pace to get, uh, get up to date. Um, a little plug for the, uh, is the Hebrew art scrolls. I think they even have. They have even later diagrams. No, no, I, 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 they're good. They're, they're very good. I, I think they're. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say that, but I think they're better than the English ones even. Okay, so. Um, come up with the Italian ones pretty soon. They're oh, be better. Okay, very good. So, um, so Aleph is clearly when it's appear, it, it appears to the inside people, not to the outside people. Bays, you'll see, right, if you have it, it, according to the Marshal or according, you have the other one, according to the base Yosef. So either, okay, if you have, if, you know, it's either the. Peg or the lechi, the pole, the post is narrower than the wall. Like I have it in my first base or my second base, it literally goes to the outside and sticks out. It, um, That's the base we have. Okay, so I have two bases because they're two different shatam as to what Rashi means. But okay, let's do the next Rashi. Near bechus v'shabefnim. We're now fishing on the, on the big wide lines now. Shemoshach kalalechi lechutz. The entire lechi sticks outside. V'chudai ha'pnimi nichnas b'kosi ha'mavli. And the inner um, narrow uh, flat part. Nichnas uh, b'kosi ha'mavli enters into uh, the walls of the mavli. V'nenira b'fnim. Because it's flush up against it and you don't see it. It looks to those people like you just... Adding to the length of the kosel of mechutz nikrish enemy called salmavi, but for the to the outside people, it looks like it's not part of the. It's rec- it's clearly recognizable that it's not part of the wall of the mavi. Shrei nimshach lahala mirocha vakosel gazet because it sticks out more beyond the width like this, so it, it can go either. 
both of those diagrams, Lukhar, you can you fit into Rashi some way, and you know, maybe one fits a little bit smoother, but okay. So then we quoted it. So this is the machlokes between Rabbi Chia and Rabbi Shimon Then we then we said, what about this brice that Rabbi Chia learned? Kaisu shechatzeiro. Next Rashi shechatzeiro echad kolas mechaveiro shenichnas habinyin. The structure comes in umiyatomi ovov, and now it lessens from the thickness. Dash the bolate. Now it's so now it protrudes. Once it's narrower, so it sticks out. When you're looking at the wall, whoa, I got this little narrow thing coming out of the wall. You also have to come in, amuchikarim plier, okay? That's one scenario. Bein shekinoso near b'fnim v'shom b'chutz, or the other way around where it enters into the mavi and it becomes fatter than the wall. So now it's, it's clearly seen by the people of the Mavi, whoa, I got a protrusion coming out of the wall. V'shav b'chutz kezeh, and it becomes very... Um, and it becomes, but it's flat up against the side, right? It doesn't protrude as, as cause like, I guess, that little diagram in the in the middle there. Okay. Shekua kaisel miachrov veneris hapegimis befnim. I guess the the wall shekua she shekua kaisel miachrov. I guess the coastal comes in from the back from its. From its back, veneris hapegima befnim. I guess it makes that L, and that L, I guess Rashi is describing the fact that the wall now makes a turn and comes in. So that coming in is going to be apparent to the people inside, not to the people on the outside. Okay, Verb Yochanan. So the Gemara does not really want to accept that proof that Rabbi Chia said that. Why? Because next Rashi, Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Yochan, who said thumbs down on the case where it's only Nira Bachutz and Shabbat Nim, didn't he hear this Baisa? So yet the fact that he heard it didn't dissuade him from not agreeing with it. Who, therefore, what right, just like Rabbi Yochan rejected the Brisa, what right they have to say Rabbi Yochan also did, Rabbi Chia also didn't, didn't reject the Brisa. He might be in the same camp as Rabbi Yochanan, that he heard the Brisa, but he doesn't hold of it. To which Yomar answers, no. Uh, there's a big difference. Rabbi Yochan never taught the Brisa, he never officially prom- promoted the Brisa. Rabbi Chia did, and therefore you cannot compare Okay, let's now proceed back to the Gemara, the little dot now. So plotting right along over here. Amar Rabba Barav Huna, about 10, 12 lines up from the bottom of the Gemara. Amar Rabba Barav Huna, near B'chutz V'shav There are very case where it appears uh, to the people on the outside, but it's equal to the people on the inside. Nidam Yishum Lechi. I say it works. Okay, so I want to go into Reb camp and say it actually works, says who says Rabbi Barav Huna? Okay, Oma um, Rabba Umozvino Nashmeitzin. Okay, Rabbi says, but Luchayra, you are uh, being refuted from this this uh, halacha because I'm about to teach you halacha, um, which seems to con- contradict what you say. Okay, because again, because Rabbi Barav Huna says. It's okay. That the fact that the inside people don't see, but the outside people see is good. And I'm about to prove to you from a certain scenario that the outside thing is not good. So how do I know? I'm a rabbi, Why? From this b'risa. Because what's, what's a b'risa? We had this case before. So hopefully it'll jar our memory. Chatzar ketana shifrat al You had a big, um, you had a small chatzar that's open up to a big chatzar. So, right? so I don't have, we don't have a very... Do we have, oh, actually, well, we have a diagram, but that's not, okay, that's the next, uh, you know, you sort of see it in the, in the Rashi diagram, except you got to take out those two schmitzics that stick beyond into the Chatz HaGadayla, got to take them out. Okay, and then that would be, basically, remember, remember we had that case where you had like the big rectangle and then the smaller rectangle going into it? Okay, so, it, yeah, so, yeah, we don't have a perfect diagram here, but, uh, Hopefully you can see it in your in your art scrolls. You got a good picture there. So, so what's halacha? When you're on the in the big chutzer, what do you see? You see basically almost a square, almost a rectangle coming in, and you see two sides of that fourth wall before it branches off into the chutzer katana. You are closed off 
by four sides because you get the two extensions on the fourth wall. So one more time, chutzah ketana shifra tzala gedola, gedola muteres, so you'll have to carry in the big chutzah, o ketana asura, but the small chutzah is asur, nei shehi kapiz chashla gedola, because we view the small chutzah as simply an entranceway of the big one. So the people in the small chutzah, what do they see? They just see a big chutzah, they see no separation, their walls go flush into the chutzah, and there's no separation at all. The people in the big chutzah... It's not one big mobile or one big... This is a chutzah now, this is a courtyard. It's not one big chutzah because the people in the, in the large one didn't join with the people in the other one? Well, th- they didn't join, but the point is, can I carry my own chutzah even though I didn't join you, we, may, we joined ourselves. I mean, Each chutzah... Nowadays we look at it as joining the whole thing. Right, that didn't happen. If they joined the whole thing, that would be a different story. Because everything then would be enclosed. Right, because well, the picture but, in our school, the whole thing is enclosed. No, what do you mean? The middle... The, the, side yeah, the whole thing's enclosed because you're looking at the big one and the small one together. Right. Right, so the whole thing is enclosed. Right, right. but they didn't... Have this, this they didn't merge. Tension. But they didn't merge. So, so you have to... it's not all enclosed then. Well... I mean, you're physically surrounded by walls, but 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 what your walls don't help me. I'm in the small chutzah, right. and I'm not. I didn't merge with you, so I have to establish my own right to carry in my own chutzah with our own houses. Now we didn't do that. We didn't merge with you, and now we want to carry in our own chutzah. Can we? And the answer is no, because on the third, on your fourth opening, you're totally open, right? Yes. Your fourth wall, you're totally open. There's no closure. To the Chatzah Gedola, you're not totally open, right? The Chatzah Gedola is enclosed by the two on both sides of that rectangle. Okay, so let's see here. So, um, Now, wait a minute. If you hold that being open to the people on the outside, even though it's not visible to you, is called a valid wall... Vimisa, where it's still in the Gemara, Vimisa, Katana Nami Tishri. It should be mutter for the people in the smaller chutzah to carry in their chutzah. Why? Because granted, they can't see the wall, but the people in the big chutzah can see the wall. It's nearer Bachutz, Vishab Bifnim. It's exactly the same time. Now, it's not, it's not the same because one's talking about a chutzah Gedola, and one's talking about Wilshire Boulevard, but essentially, what's the difference? If you hold that it's good enough for the outside people, let let the big chutzer allow the small chutzer to carry based on the fact that they can see the walls. Vimisa katani nami tishtari, if that's the case that you hold, it works for the, for the inside, even though it's only visible to the outside, you should be able to carry in, in, in the wall, in the inside. Well, no, but don't you have that case that we had earlier with the, with the chutzer to the maboi versus the chutzer and the maboi to the Rosh Because, I mean, here you... You would say that one gets sucked up, then you have two chutzers here. Okay, but but the point is the in the small chutzer right. does have walls that are there right. that are apparent to the outside people. And when you we're saying there's an opinion that says that's valid, that's good enough. So if it's good yeah, enough, it also dependent on what you were transitioning into or from. Not, not why should that matter in this case? We're just we're open to each other. I want to carry my chutz. You want to carry your chutz. We don't want to carry. We don't want to intermingle. We never made a joint eruva chutzeros. You made your eruva chutzeros. I we made our eruva chutzeros. We're not interested in really, you know, playing you know risk today with you guys. So we're not. In, you know, we're not. We've just we just want to be able to carry here. And why not? If you hold that those walls being seen by the inside people are valid walls, they can serve for me as well. Right? So why, why shouldn't it work? So the answer is, Amr Zaira. We've been learning Lachi for Chatzar? Yes, what? We've been lear- we, we, I only recall learning Lachi for a Mavoi, not for Chatzar. Okay, well, that, that's why you came there. We did have this, re- we're going to reference it again soon, that for Chatzar, the pa- Pashas, you need two Lachayim. You need two, okay. two Lachis. But uh, yeah, if you have two Lachis, that would be good enough. So while a Mavoi only needs that, one. That would also depend on what you were transitioning into, whether one got sucked up by the other or carried by the other, and you knew that the Rishus Rambi you couldn't carry. But, you, but you're but you talking about the case of Rishus Rambi versus a Carmelis. Right. They don't, but the, that, that, there's no bearing here because we got two Chatzers and there's no... two areas that you can carry it. So, yeah, but here, for sure, each one's not going to get sucked in, but each one is its right. own. Yeah, no, that's only when you got a Carmelis or a Rishus Rambi that you're dealing with. But here... trying to apply that even the people in the small can't see the walls. And right. Even though you can't see the walls, it should still be valid. Correct. Okay. 
Right. Now, here, when you're totally surrounded, these are all Rishos HaYachid. At the end of the day, these are all private domains. We just need an Erev to allow many people of different homes to carry in a common courtyard. Join together. Right. So the outside stuff is not going to affect it. This is a, it's not getting sucked into anything other than its own you know, domain. Uh, because it's one chutz, it's another chutz. It's they're, all, they're all in the same boat. Um, yeah, so he says... I'll tell you, you want to know why you, you can't d- d- deal with it and judge it as walls that are valid. And that's where that Rashi um, comes in, where the, the walls of the smaller Chatzar enter and literally continue and protrude into the Chatzar, uh, the chatzar Gedola. So they have, in other words, you thought that it formed an L. You thought... <coughs> but it actually looks like um, a little bit of a goalpost kind of thing or whatever. So it's um, because it actually goes beyond the actual wall, as you see that bottom right diagram. Okay? And because it goes into the wall, it, you can't use those walls anymore. Because the only time you can use that wall is if it forms that L and it's smooth in terms of it makes it just a left turn. And now it appears... You know, uh, to the people on the on the other side of the wall, you, it's in the, in the Chatzah Gedola, they can see it. But now the Chatzah Gedola doesn't really, because that wall continues, no longer is that Mavi valid, that uh, that Lechi valid. That Lechi is not the valid Lechi anymore because it doesn't flush up against the end of the wall. And that's... Just for clarity, so the small Chatzah's walls extend past the little L? Correct. That was going on. Correct. You said, right, you said diagram in Rashi? Yeah, I, I just R- want to make sure I yes. understand that that is an extension past Correct. that little left turn. Or right That's right, turn. exactly. And once you go past it, yeah. then that left turn, which was going to be your lechi, can no longer be your lechi. Okay. Because it's sort of now on the other side of the wall. It doesn't, it doesn't connect. You have to have it go smooth, and now that it's no, no longer smooth, it sort of now becomes an irrelevancy. Why does it have to go smooth? Well, because now it's not seen as a post, a continuation of that wall. If, 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 it was up against, if it was flush up against it the way it was in the first diagram, then that's a lechi that extends. Right, can you put a, a picture that a Mavim Shisarabim, right? Let's say, um, let's say, so this is, this is, um, okay, this is a Mavim, and this is your wall. Um, uh, this is your mavi. This is your shus. This is um, one of the walls of the mavi. So the one wall here, one wall here, right? And so if you want to, if you put a wall here, it's not going to work. Now, if 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 the lechi goes up against here and continues from the wall, that's one thing. But if you make it distinct from the wall, it's not uh, from the edge, and you just put it here, that's not going to work because it's nothing to do with the people with the, with this wall or even if you go like this which is what we wanted to do we want to put the lechi this way that's fine but now that you're continuing the wall this lechi does nothing but just appear on the outside of a wall it's 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 nothing it doesn't it doesn't have the property of a lechi it's not apparent not to the people of the inside not to the people of the outside as a, as as a uh but why, for the people that are still in the large huts there why wouldn't they still see they still see the two parts coming in. They, they, they do see the two parts coming in, but they will never see it as an extension of your chutzah. That wall has nothing to do now with your chutzah katana. It's distinct okay. from your chutzah katana. Right? Because what is, what is that? Right? You're looking at that little schmitzik, right? Well, look that, at this one, actually. I think it shows it pretty well, right? Right, so that, so what do you want to use as a lechi? You want to use, you want to use these. exactly, but this, if you, it, l, l, this line for those people, if Lagabi, this chutzer is what but these people weren't seeing that anyway. It doesn't matter, but you want to use it to to service that by saying, I see an extension of your mavi, and if I see it, then it's good enough. I see the, the but just make believe they're the bnei b'shusharabim. So the Bnei Shus Ram, they just can't see any pole. They have to see a pole that's an extension of your mavi. If if I'm looking at this thing, this thing goes into your side wall over there. Okay. It's a, you know it doesn't do anything. It doesn't show me that it's an extension. The message has got to be delivered at least to somebody. So it's either to the outside or to the inside. But that's not a message that's deliverable altogether because it's it's not part of your 
of your mavi. You, you've lost the quality. Okay. Um, Rabbi, one more question. Yeah. Is on these diagrams that they're really nice, but is there a lechi? Where's the lechi? Is it, it's there isn't a lechi. Is well, a lechi does not have to be a separate pole that you oh, buy okay. in home in a home base oh. or Home Depot. Home base is shut down, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Twenty years. Ago. Twenty years. Okay, I'm, I'm out of it. So, uh, Home Depot, right? Only, it, it, uh, it could be just a turn of the wall. Also, that doesn't happen. Well, yeah, yeah, we've established that already a number of times. I know bothered a frame a while ago, but that already, you know, I think he's dealt with that already. That it, you can have a lechi that's simply an L part of a wall. Okay, so it's not right because right the wall became like a little L. So as we're walking down the movie, oh. Okay. There's a lechi. That's a lechi. Okay. That's a lechi. A lechi is just a protrusion from a wall that serves as a reminder to somebody, either the people on the inside, and I was saying it may be good enough even for the people on the outside that they see it, even though nobody else sees it. Okay, so, so the question was, why not validate it because of the wall? The answer is because these walls continued, and these walls entered into the chutzr. Okay, um, one second. Yeah, it's all right. So that was Reb Zeir's answer. Okay, you know what? Let, let, let's just one, let, uh, let's stay in the Gemara for a minute. Just one more question. Okay, he says, but why not just say Lovud? Okay, because now again, looking at the, if the wall of the Chatzar Gedola, is within three tefachim of that of the extension. Wouldn't you fill up the entire area now, and it would be like one big box, right? Lovett says things that within that are within three tefachim each other are filled up. Okay, it's all like one. So, oh. right? So just fill in that little extra extension. That little extra extension. Fill it in. Make yourself a nice little box, and you got you got your mavoi. You got your. Um, one continuous wall. Exactly, one continuous wall, which serves like an L, and not, we're back to the L for the people of the Chatzah Gedola. Again, it's not seen by the people of Chatzah Katana, but people of the Chatzah Gedola will be, will be able to see it, and it should be considered valid. Oh, uh, right, uh, uh, my Rashi does it nicely. It, may, it makes the box, right, the, the left one. Not the right one, the left one. Just say, love it, and make it mutter. Okay, and that lechur works. So let's stay in the Gemara for for a minute. He says, "I." He says, um, "One second." V'leim malav v'tishtri. Why not say love and make it mutter? The chitema the maflik tuba tuba. Maybe you're going to say, "Well, who says that the walls are so close to each other?" Right. Now, there's only, in order to say, say love it, you've got to say that that little schmitzik is very narrow and less than three tefachim. Or less than about uh, nine inches or so, okay, um, between the, the wall of the Chatzah Katana to the wall of the Chatzah Gedola is literally less than three Tvachim. Maybe you can't use Lovud because maybe the, the, the wall is too distant. Is, well, I'll prove it's not true. But Tanur of Ara Baravimi, Kamedra of Chanina, Katana Be'esa, that the case, this very case that we're dealing with is a case where the, the, the small Chatzah is ten Amis, Gedolu bach asesrei, the big chutzur is 11 amis, right? So how much is left between 10 and 11? One amma. How many tfachim is one amma? Six. And if, if you're dividing it from both sides, right? Because I extend this one, I extend... If I'm a, I'm a wider than you, that means I'm a half amma wider than you on this side, and a half amma wider you on the other side. And half an amma is three tfachim. Take the space of the wall, which is a few inches minimally, I'm less than three tfachim. So... We have somebody on record clearly learning this case as a case of Lovud. And the question is, according to him, where Lovud should work, why shouldn't that fill in the space and make it a valid back? So back to proving must be, he holds, that when it's nearer Lechutz, it doesn't work. Right? So this is all the agenda was to basically knock off Rebchia, knock off um, yeah, Rebchia's position. I so one more time. A ton of Ada, four lines from the bottom. A ton of Ada bar of Dimi, Kamei of Chinah, Katana Besser Gedol Bachazasrei. So he says. So more answers. Amar Ravina, but we're flogging because he's a b'shnayim, and because he's a b'dalit. So you still, I, I'll, I'll, I'll outsmart you. You're right. There's an armor wider. Bruce says the armor is equidistant both ways. Maybe on one side the wall is two tefachim away. And the other side, the wall is four tefachim away, adding up to an amma, but who says it's smack dab in the middle? And on the side of the, if it's four tefachim, 
we know that Lovet has to be, according to the mainstream opinion, Lovet has to be three Tfachim. If on this side, that means, you, you, yes, you can use Lovet to fill in the gap on one side, but you can't use Lovet on the other side. So you only filled in on one side. So let's just, let's just keep plowing away here with this Gemara. Because it's four. It's two and four. Oh, four is not only three. Right, exactly. Um, love it, Merach Achas for Tishtari. So fine. But who says you need two? Let's use love it on only one side. Let's use a two tefach side. Use love it there. And let that be sufficient. One lechi should be enough to matter the, uh, the chutz, right? And this gets back to Ephraim's point. Okay. Um, who... Uh, who needed to go? He says, "Let's say, let's just say, love it from one side and say it's good." Top of Yudam and Aleph, Rebbe. He the answer is this. Rebbe, this position, uh, this Bryce reflects Rebbe's position. The Omar Binan Shtei Pasin. He says, "You need two lechis." When it comes to a chutzur, a chutzur is not a mavi, and, and the rules of mavi are different than the rules of chutzur. A mavi only needs either one lechi or a kara. While according to by by chutzin need two the Tanya how do I know this because it says in the Brisa chutzin niteres with pas echad a chutzin is niter according to the Tanakama with only one pole just like a mavi is niter with one pole but pas echad Rabbi Omer no b'shnei pasin and Rabbi says no you need two so the the idea that so basically bottom line is you could. Um, you could learn the case as four and two, and the reason why it doesn't work is not because, as you try to prove to me, it doesn't work because Reb Chi is wrong. No, it does not work because the structure of the chutzur is such that you need two poles, you need two lechis, you don't have two lechis because the second lechi is too far away from the wall, and now Reb Chi is still valid. Reb Chi has not been refuted from this b'risa, and the world is still good. Okay, let's see. Let's see whatever Rashi's we can get to. Um, let's see here. Chatzur Ketana, Shifrit Salagadola, Ketana Nami Tishri. Right, we didn't do that yet, right? That's what we're up to. The list of B'nai Gedola, why would the B'nai Gedola, the people of the big Chatzur, prohibit the people of small Chatzur from carrying? Elevi Nami Pischol Gaba, Lios Kishnei Chatzeros, let it be uh, uh, considered an entrance way to those people to be considered like two chatzeros with an opening between them. The avagav the shabbafnim, and even though yes, it's true that it's equal on the to the inside people, it's equal because anybody in the middle in the small chatzer looks at its walls and they see nice walls, smooth ending into the chatzer gadol, and I don't see any extension, I don't see any post, but big deal. But according to you. There's no movement of that wall at all to another direction. Um, okay, and therefore it's com- considered completely open. You could see it for the people in the big chutzer. They could see the wall because they see the, the, the right turn of those, the left turn of those, those walls into our chutzer. Right, they see the, the, those additional extensions of those two walls into their chutzim. The gedola bahu mishy mishim deliday nearest me with them. Right, because for me, I'm on the I'm in the big chutzim. I clearly can see those walls. I'm I'm all fine. I have told I'm totally surrounded. Let those walls also work for you. The answer is no. Not so eat. Not so fast. The case is They protrude into the Chatz Gedola uh, a couple of Amas. Right. In other words, once the it's it's obvious that the wall extends beyond that little L, then that's not considered any more part of that wall. It, it takes on its own identity, and that outside wall becomes just simply just that an outside wall that abuts or juts whatever the word is into into the wall in the middle of the wall. So if it's in the middle of the wall, it can't be can't be a lechi. I don't see that as an extension of the wall. If a wall makes a turn, yes, then that that's a lechi. But if the wall continues onward, and then you want me to look at that outside schmitzik that's well into your wall, that's, no, no, that's not going to work. 
the I the name of Lavud for Tishri Kizer. Why not say Lavud Kloimar Inir Bechutz Mahani? If indeed being apparent to the outside people works, Lavikilu Roshe Kinisa Shakolse Ketana Snufel Litzad Kaisei Oruch Hagadola. Why not simply fill in the pla- uh, fill in? One second, one more time. Inirim bechutz mahani. If if indeed being apparent to the outside people works, lavikilu rashi kinisa shel kosei katana zufel etzad kosei aruch hagadola. Okay, let the that extension of the small um, of the small chutzer be sort of filled up and considered sort of uh, continued extensions towards the big wall. The entire area of that of that little you know. Uh, you just fill in that square, basically. Okay? Now, it will be apparent. If you fill it in, that whole thickness will be very, very apparent to the outside, and that will be part of your wall, because it's all, it's all filled in as a, as a big block. Right now, we're thinking that it's just a little bit advanced. Less than three on each side. Once we, once we say that the the distance between wall A and wall B is less than three tefachim, love it becomes possible. You fill in the square. You fill in the square. So now I'm looking at a real L. I'm looking at a wall that a, that uh, sort of conclu- just continues from the end of the wall, and that's what we need. We can't have the wall being away from the end of the wall. It's got to be mamish at the end. But that's still on the side of the, the big chutzner and not the, the small one. Okay, but again, but it, as long as it's, it's visible to the people on the inside, we're promoting, right? Reb Chia was the one who said that that works. Reb Chia is, so if, if that works, why doesn't it work here? So let it work here too. Again, proving, right, which is the original agenda of this Gemara to prove Reb Chia wrong. Moore says, well, so not so fast, because um, who says love it can work here? Tuva. I would say that maybe the walls will move far away. more than three. It was much wider. So who's to say that that the love can work? Um, I'm sorry. Right, famous shlosha. Okay, so we're at the Rashi five lines from the bottom. And if you want to tell me that it was very wide, I'll tell you it can't be because we have a we have an Amira who learned pshat in his brisa. As being a case of katana be'esu gedol be'yod alav, she'ain gedola odefes al katana elu ama achas. The entire width of how chutzur a is is wider than chutzur b is a total of one ama. Harei shloshet vachem lekan shloshet vachem lekan. That leads you three vachem each side. The oive knisas haksolim mematen is a shloshet. We call tzadik love it. And you have a little bit less because the wall that protrudes in narrows a little bit the. The area, and they are left with only with less than three tefachim. You say love it. The answer is, yeah, you're right that it's only an amma wider, but it, the case is b'flugin because of zebishtaim and mizarba. One's two tefachim away, one's four tefachim away. So how you say katana muchavenes connected him to so shagadol? It wasn't mamish equidistant smack dab in the middle of the chutzur el meshucha shnei tefachim l'tzad echad. It was two tefachim away from one side. Veish me amma. Okay, and from that Amma, left over from those two Tvachim, is four Tvachim on the other side. And four Tvachim, unfortunately, doesn't let, let you use Lovin. And since the, the, the walls are narrow, leaving you three plus Tvachim, and once it's three plus, there goes Lovin out the window. I the name of last Rashi on the page. The name of love with Miruch Achaz. Very can sheer echad near bechutz, but you still have one that appears to the outside people. V'tishrei ketana. Let's allow the small chutz to work. V'nishavi lahai pirtz of Pesach. That's who the Okay, because um, let's. It should be considered. You're right, the two tefach side should work, and that should turn that opening into a into a doorway. Instead of just having a just a flat opening, it should now be considered like a doorway based on that side wall, the esuhu the havia, because it is ten. Okay, it's not more than ten, I guess. It's, it's you know it's up to ten. And the answer is we follow Rebbe. We'll pick this up tomorrow.